Have you ever taken notes for school or university and realised you absolutely never look at them? So what's the point of taking notes anyway? Today, we'll discuss a book called How to Take Smart Notes by Sonki Arendt, which has the potential to change this for you. All this book does is reveals a system that Nicholas Luhmann used to produce 400 scholarly articles as well as over 70 books in his 30 year career. And this was not superficial work, it was very deeply thought out and it exposed very fresh connections. So if you want to level up your thinking and just increase the level of your ideas, or even just remember what you read, then this book will reveal the way to do just that. So very briefly, I want to discuss the structure of the book, how writing is thinking, the Zettelkasten technique, the different types of notes, and finally, my experience of using this system. So for the structure, the book is essentially broken into three parts. So part number one is everything you need to know. Part number two is the four key underlying principles. And part number three is six steps to success writing. When I started to write and share content on the internet, I had this idea in my head that I needed to really just think about all these things, digest them in my head before putting them on paper, and somehow magically I would end up with a beautifully written prose that I could just send and put on the internet somewhere. And now, after reading this book, I find that idea completely ridiculous, because as you sit down to write, you will write a few mediocre sentences, followed by a few more mediocre sentences, and then you'll read over them and you'll realise how mediocre those sentences are and how you've just had a new idea so you'll replace those sentences or add a new sentence that will just level up this idea or connect all of it together. So until I started writing things down I didn't really think things through. They would just be little beginnings of an idea. So this is the key aspect of this book, writing is thinking. So what you want to do is not highlighting or copying the book notes or any quotes that you find inspiring or interesting. You don't want to write the quote quote is fairly useless at this point because you already had your own insight. You want the essence of your own thinking habits and the more you come up with your own thoughts and your own insights in response to stimuli, the better you will be at expressing your thoughts in general. And if you build up a system such as Nicholas Luhmann's Zettelkasten, you will also never face writer's block because you will always have a pool of ideas to take. This leads us nicely onto what Zettelkasten actually is. So Nicholas Luhmann used a system of little cards that he wrote ideas down on and filed them in a cabinet. The beauty of the system was that he linked all of those cards together, which by the end of his life totaled to over 90,000 cards. And this is the entire core idea of this note-taking system. He distilled his thoughts onto so many cards that at any one point, whenever he wanted to write something, he could just go to his Zettelkasten and just pick up a card, and that card would be linked to a few other cards. He could just read them, and through reading them and thinking about them, he would come up with even more new insights. You can also use this system in a digital form, which is what I tend to do. There are special apps for Zettelkasten, but I tend to use either Rome Research or Obsidian. I have created a video previously where I go into a brief overview of what I do in Rome Research. The key idea is that you just link your thoughts and notes together. And the reason this works is because of Ebbinghaus's forgetting curve. This curve shows us how quickly we forget information if we don't try to recall it. When we read new books or new articles, we only really remember the gist of the book a few weeks later, or whilst it's fresh in our minds, we may remember a few quotes. But if we don't try to retrieve it, it's just gone. And this was really frustrating to me. So what Luhmann did here is, if he wanted to write about an idea, he would pick up one of his old ideas, and he would no longer remember that idea. But looking at it again, he would have a fresh insight so that he could then spin off on that idea and just do some other ideas. So essentially, he could continually come up with new ideas every single time he looked up his old insights, which he had forgotten. So the book goes over the different types of notes that you should make in order to actually get to the index card level, the permanent notes. So firstly, we have a fleeting note, which is purely just for remembering your thoughts or when you're out and about and you have a thought and you think, oh my God, this is great, and you write it down. Those can be your fleeting ideas or quick response to another stimuli. And it's really just a stepping stone towards literature notes and permanent notes later on. Speaking of literature notes, those are the book notes. So when you are reading some Thing, an article or a book or anything at all, you are not jotting down the quotes, you are jotting down your response to the quote, your thoughts about it, and any ideas you may have. And then you just tag it with the book name, the reference, whatever you need in order to find it again as a random occurrence. So you need to be able to link to that note. And finally, we have the permanent note, which is when you look over all your fleeting notes and 
literature notes and you actually put them into a system. So like Rome Research where I would actually go over all of my literature and fleeting notes and add tags and which books they were from and, and any categories I think they currently fit into. The premise of this note taking system is that you don't need categories because your categories will kind of spring up on their own as you write more notes. So my experience of using this system. So I would jot down my current thoughts and just promise myself I'd get to it later. I also found that when I take literature notes, I am very tempted to quote directly or copy and paste bits of writing that I found particularly amazing. And this is a particularly difficult habit to overcome when you've been literally copying and pasting from a board. So it was quite difficult to just sit down and force myself to only write down my thoughts I had about the particular stimuli. However, after you do this a few times, it becomes more of a habit. You read with an intention, with a purpose, and you'll be looking for things that fill up your categories that you have. By categories, I mean things that speak to you or things that you want to write about yourself. And the final point, looking at a long list of quotes is rather tedious. It almost feels like reading the book again. So instead, looking at a bullet pointed set of thoughts that may be around about 10 short bullet points that each one is an insight, it's just incredibly more exciting because you get new insights and you can just add that little bullet point next to it or just tag it as a new note and you're constantly spinning off on those ideas and you get a lot more insight from a hundred pages. As your approach emerges and you become more comfortable looking and using Zettelkasten, take a look at my other videos on Rome research and how I've implemented it. Thank you and I'll see you in the next one.